Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sesso and I'm back in Fiverr. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a big review guy. Before I purchase anything, I'm looking at the reviews and I was wondering what would it look like if we compared a one star Fiverr review with a five star Fiverr review? What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be like a really big difference or the homie was having a bad day, the reviewer's having a bad day? I'm curious. So we're gonna have three different briefs, seven different artists, and hopefully just some, I'm hoping that it's just neutral, but my, 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 my guts says uh it's not and tldr i have not seen any of these designs my beautiful editor jay has done it for me so he put in a nice psd no revisions no nothing just the singular brief and just just before i start by the way we won a few weeks ago so just wanted to say thank you guys i, I have not yet to say thank you on youtube just want to say thank you if you guys voted for me and all that good stuff and i love you but i got i got one also, as per usual, do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. It's the first link in the description down below where you basically all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase, plus all future products for free no matter the price forever. Okay, so let's jump in. The first brief that we're going to be reviewing today is Fiverr Artists Against is Lion's Den, a completely made up company, by the way. Lion's Den is a facility that honors highly trained vets and workers on site in order to maintain a complete control over the well-being of your fur baby. Our goal for the logo is to create an inviting image and also a play on the word lion's den, as it's obviously not housing lions, but would love to assure that we have a play on the name lion and dog within the logo mark. And realistically, these guys had no other input besides that, so let's start off with our first one star reviewer, Nick. G the Killer 21 reads This guy is horrible. Made the shittiest logo ever. Maybe it took him like 10 minutes. Ooh, to be honest, so this is a $15 order. Did I mention that? So I don't know what he was expecting for 15 literal dollars, but yeah, expectation should not be all the way up here. So let's just see what we what we got. Okay, so in three, two, one. Okay, my first impressions are the illustration, the line work is actually not bad at all. Also, you like my slogan where pups rule the jungle. I thought that was, I thought that was fresh. So if we just kind of like zoomed in on the lions and this first concert here, there's this world where I kind of, when I'm looking at it, I definitely kind of feel this world of coziness, which is really comforting, right? I'm not really entirely feeling though that the forest is completely reminiscent of a lion, but I can say the typeface does feel calming. It has that curved nature, which is really nice. So there's elements of this that I do enjoy this time we got like a little simba action where he's like standing on this rock and you kind of have this really obvious kind of reference point to a lion because of the stance I, I will say this though the lion's den logo mark right like it kind of spelt out it just feels a little too young there's some reason that it kind of feels elementary to me and not so much like a, 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 it's a personal preference but that's how i feel about it for 15 dollars though with zero revisions i'm gonna say like a solid 3.8 stars it's not quite a four but 3.8 stars is where i'm gonna land him i think it's a pretty Pretty good score, in my opinion. Up next, we have Mo, another one-star reviewed Fiverr artist. And and again, here, I mean, here's the first comment. Dorom reads, low quality, low effort designs, built from free online assets you can find right away with one Google image search. That's scary. Mushroom Factory says, sorry, not recommended, not worth the price saying, image or icons just copy from stock library and match together. Oh, that's a trend. There's a trend going on. I did pay $40 for this logo. Let's look at it. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. My initial instinct is that right concept where like a painting and whatnot, I know for, I know for certainty, homie did not just go out and paint something for me for $40, no shot in the dark whatsoever. This left concept over here, it's super cute. It's literally a dog and a lion put together. And I'm, I'm, I'm scared to do this, but we're gonna have to. You guys, you guys know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna hop on over to Google Images and give our first concept that gave me a little scared a quick little Google search. Oh, it's on free pick. I mean, I'm scrolling. I'm on page two. I'm not finding anything immediately. Like maybe just maybe, right? That this image is actually real, but also we do live in the era of AI. So moment of truth, let's see if this is AI or not processing. This is likely human, but maybe just maybe I gotta give the guy the benefit of the doubt. I don't know, you guys can be your own judges, but maybe there's a chance we just grade this based off of the $40 quote and what we kind of got. So if I start off with the left console over here, it actually is pretty freaking cute. The dog lion combo just makes is 
is exactly what I was hoping for. And the Lion's Den icon logo on the bottom, the, the, the word mark of it. I mean, it's I'm not, I'm not too flirtatious. I don't feel like the, the dual tone idea was like, eh, you know, it wasn't my favorite. Now this one on the right, this does, I mean, this one completely to me, right? We're talking about a doggy daycare. Homie put a, just a literal lion. And I literally said, I want to see a lion and a dog, if anything. If it was just a left concept, I think a solid four out of five E easily given the fact that we have this right concept that throws me off completely and almost it, it, the juxtaposition between the two you know what i'm still gonna give it a 4.5 I'm gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna just ignore this right concept and say, I would be really happy with $40 spent with this left concept. So I'm gonna go with it and just say four to five. So let's go ahead and move on to the five star reviewed Lions Den logo. We got a person named Ravadon. Now his clients just had like some beautiful words and I kind of want to read them. I was a little spe skeptical at first because I never used Fiber 4 and I had another artist in mind, but that person had a terrible response time. I'm actually glad the other person didn't respond because this guy exceeded my expectations. He did an extraordinary job, very quick to respond and understood the vision, very talented. I would definitely recommend to others and I'll be back as soon as I have more products I need done. That's a solid, solid comment. My expectations are really high. So let's, without further ado, three, two, one. Okay. So I, I want to just, I just wanted to like bring it in for a second, right? So this concept on the right just kind of sort of feels as if the dog itself is sort of like inside of a cave, which if I were to just compare it to our previous concept, just feels a lot more original for some reason. Well, not for some reason, because I think this person really got the brief, which I appreciate. You also get a zoomed out version on the left hand side where you kind of have this actual cave being kind of seen. And it's almost like this greenery patch that feels very familiar to like the like a fake grass kind of idea. I mean, this guy killed it. No, this to me is easily, easily a five star. Like I'd be crazy not to kind of mention this being like really equivalent to what the reviews are saying. This is not a sponsored voice, by the way, speaking. I am genuinely honest. These are my honest opinions. And again, not paid to say a, a singular word. So the next brief that we have is for a made up company again named Grid. Now, Grid is a new design portfolio hosting site geared to placing you on the grid worldwide. I've been watching some Formula One. I thought that was a fire slogan. Grid is relatively close to your universe of Behance for its discoverability features, Wix for its customizability, and then LinkedIn for its network. This logo should feel pretty iconic, memorable, but without a doubt, dope. And not to mention a unique approach of showcasing a grid. Just for the record, I always, I always thought that would be a cool like website name, Grid. So for our one star reviewed fiber designer, we have a person by the name by Sajid. Some of these comments are just really mean. And for the record, Sajid has, you know, only so many one stars, but I gotta pick somebody, right? But at the same time, Sajid was $75, which is a little bit on the higher end for Fiverr. So I am accepting something good, right? Like it just has to be good. We have IFTN Media. He isn't very good at what he does. It's not clear how he has any completed logos. Dang. Some people, that person is just mean. That wasn't even a, that wasn't even a review. So last review is from ADN Anak and he gave a 1.3 and says, logo artist is slow after answering all questions right away. He still asked me to give designs. If I want to make a logo and think about it, why should I pay you the most expensive logo cost? Thank you for the refund. Not worth wasting time. It will not work with you again. Thank you. Just for the record, if you're going to ask for a logo or, for, or go to a logo artist and get something done, you got to come prepared with some references. Sajid, I'm on your side here. So if I go in Photoshop and if I open this and it's bad I'm gonna be sad but benefit of the doubts always at all points because you got everyone got the same brief my brief was not very reference logo heavy so I'm curious as to what we're gonna get three two one oh realistically this is probably the most how would I want to say like the most assumable idea of what I would think about it is like a G and a grid I don't think it gives that like hard aesthetic that I was going from that first line of like you're about to be placed in the grid blah 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 right the only reason why I could on that is that the colors just feel too slacky and celebratory but there's also that world of the colors do kind of bring that collaborativeness that also at the same time builds a community. If I were just to grade this on quality, I'm instantly giving this a five to be pretty honest because I see it, I've, uh, the vision's there. But if I had to put originality in there or like unexpectedness, but at the same time it's expected, maybe it's expected because it's good. I wanna just say, I think a four out of five is the most fair I can give it for like originality plus quality, right? Like if I had to grade those two separately. Okay, so for the five-star review designer, we have Farhan. Now this guy is, is getting gas, okay? Crazy Glucose set, what a name. 
His work blew my mind. I've worked with many logo designers in the past, but this guy has shocked me. No way he's only asking $100 for this logo. Spoiler alert, I did pay $100 for this logo. For this 10 out of 10 perfection, amazing quality logo in just two business days, pure shock. You want logos, he's the one. This, this felt calculated. It wasn't, I, I mean, I, I don't think you could, like fake a comment, maybe you could, but that felt pretty good to me. All right, Farhan, three, two, $100 logo, one, Okay, okay, well, well first I got mock-ups. I got the $100 price, I get some mock-ups, which I enjoy. Um, oh, I can't ignore, we have a, 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 like an identical idea, excuse me, with like the grid G work. His grid G is not as strong as Radovan's, uh, excuse me, Saj Sajid's, I think. That one feels nice, but it, it feels a little bit too, a little illegible, it looks more like a six than it is a G, so I can't say to myself that that's, is, but they also have the same kind of curves. I wonder if this is like a, like a, like, hold on. I mean, to be honest, it's got like the first Google page test, right? I only really close example is like this one, but I'm not really seeing too many G grids off the top. Maybe they just thought of the same idea. It's great minds thinking light kind of moment, right? I'm not gonna dwell on it because I got two other concepts and this left one to me, it's, it's a little weird, but I'm not, I don't hate it. It just feels different. So it feels different. It could be iconic if it was placed in the right design, sort of like, you know, package. I can't really get what it is from the, the from the from the jump but I, I i also understand it's like a more like an abstract g that i was asking for in my brief so i can't really um dwell too much on that to, to just really quickly pivot to the far right concept it feels a little bit kind of like drop boxy it, it feels more like a shipping logo like a shipping like we're on the grid to bring your packages from point a to point b if i'm honest so this is zero visions all of these concepts had some kind of promise in it somewhere for 100 bucks and I got three different versions, three different places I can put some critiques into. That, I'm not disappointed in that. I'm gonna say this is a solid like 3.8. There's something that feels a little bit disconnected for the brief and the execution for me a little bit. So let's go on to the final brief and look at some uh, some one star designers first. So for our last brief, we have an actual brief that we kind of we, we've done in the past for a logo royale, but it's called Pinfall. Pinfall is the ultimate pinball inspired platform game designed to be fun, entertaining, and without a doubt, annoying. From the concepts of the games like Jump King, Only Up, and Getting Over It, this game has obstacles, movements, and a bunch of colors and moving parts. Our goal for this logo is to house and showcase obstacles and the actions of pinball within the game title. And I also even gave some few photos of it. Like with my, this is some real sketches from a game idea I had in like, like five years ago, just saying. So for our one star Fiverr designer reviewer, we have Hendry. This is a neutral review. Why is it not negative? The seller made opinions or options based on what I asked for. He too, he respected the actual five revisions possible that came with the order, but why not positive? I'll have to hire another designer. So this ended up being a waste of time and money. The team failed to create something more appealing than the logo than an amateur could be creating with a random font on the internet. Okay, dang. All right, so three, two, one. $40 logo, by the way. It's not awful to be to be very, like very candid. You know, as an artist myself, I know how much time this could have took, you know, finding the logo and whatnot and do the layer style. It could be a pre-made layer style, which is a little, a little unfortunate, but I at least get a custom made L, which makes the whole thing feel a little more custom, which I don't hate. And also we got a little bit of a picture presentation, which it feels pretty cool, right? I'm not gonna say bad at all, but I do see like the 40, for $40 again, pretty good for like the overall standpoint of the world of $40. But for five or $40, I feel like it has to be a little bit different. There's nothing more to look at, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at the same time, it would work. It would work. I would give it like a solid 3.5. It's kind of where I'm sitting at. I feel like there's a lot more color work that could be happening. The purple could have easily been a rainbow or some of the F-A-L-L could have been in color or something could have happened that would have just put this a little bit more over the top and it could have easily been a four. But for me, for the, for the, for the record, that's all stuff that I could have recommended and asked for. Again, no revisions are being said, but I'm just grading it for one for one. And for the first go of it, a three, I think is not bad whatsoever. 3.5 is not bad whatsoever and could easily be a four. So I'm, I'm really curious though, the five star which is only ten dollars more is gonna get us all right so for the last five star artist this video we have dika the reviews are just just, just good it's pretty much what you expect mla says great logo quick delivery couldn't be happier straight up up front just that's a good review dika created a fantastic design for me based off a pretty bad hand drawing i sent him as my sketch i could not be happier we'll be working with him again great work friendly easy and fast which is that you can't really ask for better than that, really. Jay sent me a video apparently that came with the logo. I haven't looked at the video, 
but apparently there's also just more than like, i got a presentation which is nice so i'm curious oh I just realized I, I didn't count down, but I was too excited to click. So, so this guy seems to have a bit of more illustration work. This, this font and text work also feels a little more custom to me. The, the little stuff, little flower, not flowers, the stars, it, it just has so much value. I can't lie. The pin balls do look like balloons. The overall, like the bulge of it, like it's it, that dude, like for 50 bucks. That is insanely good. There's also a video of this. I'm, I want to go look at the video, okay? Okay, so if we get a look right now. Oh, I mean, it's like a, it's like a really nice, just simple kind of like a splash screen ordeal. It looks, it looks a little bit of a, of a templated idea, but regardless, the value for that for 50 bucks, so I can see my logo in a little bit more of a light that's like uh, just dope. That's sexy. That's a sexy delivery for $50. I get a little more context of how the logo can look in motion. That feels good. Without a doubt in my mind, this is a five star for 50, 50s, five and then a zero dollars. But hey, with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. Honestly, though, there's a moment in time where I was just like, I was expecting it to be a, like a lot worse to be honest, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, there's a few three stars, but that's again with no revision. I'm also a designer and artist myself, so I know my revisions can really be pinpointed to really help kind of build something really cool without kind of get rid of the video's idea of just like, if I was anybody, what would anybody with a fairly okay brief get which is not bad again thank you so much to fiverr again this is a sponsored video but at the same time they sponsored the funds for me to actually go and explore any video topic i wanted and uh, don't have any words to have to say or anything like that so i appreciate fiverr um if you guys like these videos just let me know comment like i'm really curious about your overall thoughts about every single of these logos every single one of these logos and uh yeah with that being said oh, hold on with that being said i love you guys from the award-winning designer sesso thank you so much again and peace. I love you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video.